I got my people. We talk about some cricket now. Cricket, lovely cricket, long time. We not talk about no cricket, you know. But we're there on the lockdown, see him, you know. But we don't make that whole long spirit, because I just say it go. Mm -hmm. But I just really want to talk about some little things that we are float around in the media still, you know. As it relates to the Caribbean Premier League. We know it's slated to start the 19th of August. And it's supposed to run to the 26th of September. But with the whole crisis thing we are going on all over the world, it seems highly unlikely that that will go on, you know. Whether they might postpone it or cancel it for this year or whatever. And I mean, the Caribbean people, we did look forward to the thing, you know, man. Because here we are going, you know. It's an opportunity to get a lot of world class cricketers in our backyard which we can go, go watch them as Caribbean people, you know. See some international cricketers which part we don't love to see them in a 2020 format. So, if you know, say, boy, it's a strong possibility that that now go go on. You kind of feel a way, but we'll come first, same way still, because I just say it go. But the main thing I want to talk about still is a story, me see a float run by the universe boss himself, Christopher Henry Gale. Now, the story is going around saying that, um, the next time the CPL comes around, Christopher Gale won't be representing the Jamaica Talawas. He will be moving now, moving on over to the St. Lucia Zooks. Boy, you know, say we as Jamaican people, when we hear that, we vex, you know, in a car. We know, say, no, for who go out for go watch cricket in a Jamaica, the man, you know, say Gale did it, because the man have the flair and, you know, the man make the thing nice. But we have to just remember, say, a franchise cricket, same way, is not a case which part, I like West Indies cricket where a man can play on the same side for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years, even if he not perform at a certain level. A franchise cricket and he privately owned, so, he owned as them can make a shift if they believe, say, boy, a man has come on a certain amount for him salary, and him not give them a certain performance in return. So, I just saw it go. But... I don't want people to go on like them forget what Gale do for you know Because we have to remember say two titles Gale bring, bring come give away Pan the Talawas them already still you know, you understand? Because here what? Remember say we win two CPL titles and a Gale are the captain So if him even now move on we have to just know say I just saw the thing go Because franchise cricket you know as we say You understand? And I just saw the thing go Mmm yeah, so if it is the case that he might play for St. Lucia Zooks, this would have been third team in the competition, in the, in the thing, you see me? Because he played for Jamaica, he did leave a couple of years ago and represent St. Kitts. You know, and last year he came back and play for the Talawas. And I mean, they, we, never, we never do nothing much in a, in a last year, because we fin I think at last we finish, Gail never really get no whole heap of score either. You understand? So... If the owners them of the franchise decide so we go and go elsewhere then I just say it go. And I want to tell you say we almost not get no cricket at Jamaica last year you know, cause the franchise owner them as right now is more beneficial to them if them bring the if them bring the franchise to Florida. Cause we have to understand say the people they might invest money in the things so they might expect say boy they might get things in return but they must say the support which part you know them get. As it relates to the spectators, them going to watch the match, the, the money not, not really, not really add up. And we have to remember, say, even though we have it as entertainment, a business, the people them are run, a business, them are do it as so. We have to give and take, I just, I just one of them thing there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have to remember, say, two titles we win um, with Chris Gale as we captain and also. The only thing we can do is just wish the man the best if he may move over to St. Lucia Zooks. I know so all of the Talawas supporters, them, we have feel it, but I just saw the thing go. You know, the man apart of the Caribbean, same way, so we have to just hope, say, everything work out good for him, same way. I'm not spring chicken again. Gale are 40, you know, man. I love Gale, love the game, and I go and play it, so we have to just hope, say, everything work out for him, because the man are 40, you know. You know we have a lot of 40 year old cricketers going around licking, hitting the ball all over the fence and all of them something the same way so him just a play it out of the love so we have to just support him and hope say boy things go on good for him because we have to remember say a whole heap of joy Gale give you know, man a girl first make we know say we can get so much 100 in a 2020 cricket you know, man you understand so at the twilight time career you now so you know we just want him to take time and just kind of have a smooth transition out of the thing we don't want the thing kind of rush up and them chew them out you understand mm, I just saw the thing go because a franchise cricket I just like football you know man if you have a, if you, if you have a club if you run a club 
And you bring in a couple players and pay them a certain amount of money. A month time and the man them not nah, play no ball. You are going to sell them or get rid of them out of the club. Not saying this is the case with Chris Gale, you know. But there's a lot of young talent around. around and if a man them decide to base on the amount of salary, the amount of money where Gale get, them can use that the money there and pay two young players. Then probably the man go that way there because just so you go. The respect is still there for the universe, boss. You know, but you have to just remember, say, it's a business. But all in all, we just hope, say, boy, we get some cricket this year. Because I want to tell us, say, we're there and I lock down and we don't have no sports to watch. We just have to watch some, some old time thing and I look and I laugh and I watch some highlights. But well, really, I look forward to, to the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I, boy, I hope, say, when the whole CPL come back around, I hope, say, the franchise no move. Our, our, the Tala was now moved to Florida because a couple of years well now, Mary said them um, them had debate as if them if you move the, 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 the Tala was franchise and make them homegrown be in Florida. And you know, say us as Jamaican people, we not gonna like that, but at the same time, the people them not get back no returns from what they must spend them off, you know, I just saw the thing go. Yeah. Yeah, so all in all, if you happen to scale and move over to the St. Lucia Zooks, we just have to wish him the best. We just want the man to know so remember the, the amount of runs they might make for it. Bring two title come give it. We're happy for that. So if you have to move on, I just say it. You understand? And the, the love and the support is the same way. Mm -hmm.